Hey guys, welcome to the Beach House. Today I've got James with me, and we're gonna be doing something super, super fun. We got something exciting in the mail. We got a package today from KiwiCo. Are you excited, James? Yeah! <laughs> What's cool about KiwiCo is they have a monthly subscription where they send out a package like this with projects to make learning about science, art, and math more fun and accessible. So they actually have five different crates. They've got the kiwi crate. They also have the koala crate and the cricket crate, as well as the doodle crate and tinker crate. Each one of these crates is for a different age group for different kids learning and development age. I like the tinker crate because I, I made one and it was super fun. Yeah, we did the tinker crate before and it was awesome. But today we're gonna do the kiwi crate and guess what we're gonna be building today, James? Today we're going to be building an arcade. Are you excited to build an arcade? Yes! <laughs> when you open up the box, there's a whole bunch of cool things. There's a magazine, instructions, and almost all the supplies that you're going to need to be able to build the thing that you're supposed to work on in this project. Before we get started, I want to give a huge thank you to KiwiCo for sponsoring today's video. And you guys can actually get your first month for free if you use the link in the description below, which is kiwico.com slash the beach house. Go there and you'll get your first month free. Try it out and I know you guys are gonna love it. So if we look at the instructions, it shows us how to build the claw for the arcade and making it, what you're gonna need, and all the parts and pieces are right inside here. And then we've also got this, this yarn, and this yarn is actually what you use to make the little pom-pom prizes that you can use the claw to grab for your arcade. And then actually you can also build, in this magazine it shows you how to turn this box itself into an actual arcade for the claw machine game. So it has all the steps and everything you're gonna need to build it. Plus it's got some fun comics and information about what you're building. So I love that it's building cool things. James, you love building, don't you? Yes! So this is perfect. I make tons of creations out of cardboard and actually ha I have a really great one. Yeah, we do lots of fun building stuff. James loves building, so this is perfect for him. You ready? Yeah! Okay, let's follow the instructions and put this thing together, huh? Yeah. Cool. I think I might like the claw the most. So, let's get all the things that we're gonna need. How does your claw work? It starts with the string. When you pull the string, that moves the top bolt. When the top bolt moves, it pulls the connectors. When the connectors move, they pull the claw pieces. It's all connected. The middle bolt doesn't move, so when the claw pieces get pulled back, they spin around the middle bolt, and that makes the claw open. But how does it close? The stretched out rubber bands want to go back to their unstretched shape. When you let go, the rubber bands pull all the claw pieces back to where they started. The claw, that closes the claw. Okay, so what you're gonna need first is the claw guide, circle stickers, green bolts, small connector, and string. So let's get out the straw, small connector. Is this string? Uh, yeah, that's the string. Okay. I have a plastic one of these claws, but you hold it and it pulls it and it closes and pinches people. <laughs> oh, it's done! Okay, can you pick something up? Yeah. <laughs> nice. It's done! All right, are you ready to take on the claw challenge? Yes. Show us how it works. So you pull this and it opens. And you stick it right in here. And Oh, try again. You got it. Good job. Do you like it? Yeah. Cool. Do you think maybe you can go clean your jobs now with that new toy? Go clean your jobs with the claw. How does that sound? Go clean your bedroom with the claw. <laughs> it's too big as this duck. <laughs> or this tiny, tiny claw. What do you think of it? It's cool. Yeah. Awesome. All right, I'm gonna try to get double prizes. Sweet! Double prizes! I got them both! What is that? 
Um, I got a cricket crate. Charlie, you ready to look at the cricket crate? Yeah. All right, let's see. <gasps> what is this? It says, Ocean Games. Ocean Games. Are you excited? So, in this issue, we're learning about sorting with your toddler. Six basic science process skills. <gasps> There's fish! <laughs> cool! And a little game that we can play. <laughs> so we're going to learn about fish and ocean animals. Ocean games can match yeah. and sort. Okay, fish! Mm -hmm. Do you want to play this fish game? Yeah. Okay, let's get it all set up and let's play, okay? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's go. And look, you even have a shark on your shirt. I did. <laughs> have a shirt. Let's get it all set up. So what, we've got all the little fishies. Can you open that and get those out? Yeah. Good job. Two fishies. And a starfish. And a turtle. Look, it opens up right here. See? You just pull this back. It yeah. opens up. And then you can get the fishies out. Put the fishies out. Ooh. Fishies. Yeah, get them all set up. I am. Good job. Okay. And we're gonna go fishing. That's right, we're gonna go fishing. Yeah. And a star? We have all of them. Can you get all of them set up like this? Yeah. Get them all organized? The fish is on the star. Got it all set up? Okay, now, Charlie, what? we've got some cards here. We're gonna draw a card, and then you're gonna pick those types of fish. And you're gonna use the fishing pole to get it. Yeah! Okay, yeah. so draw the top card. What's the top card? What is it? It says go fishing. Let's flip it over. Here. It says fish. Fish! So what you have to do is get all the fish with the fishing pole like this. <laughs> Can you take it off? Yeah. Okay, let's get all the fish. Let's do it. Here, I'll hold the fish. Now you get the next fish. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> oh, that's a star. <laughs> We're not doing a starfish. What? We're just doing regular fish. Regular fish. Yep, so there's turtles and sea stars, but we're not doing sea stars, we're just doing fish. You get it? Uh. You did. Oops, you got the turtle. There we go. I'll take the fish. Okay, get another fish. Yep, you see it? Good job, you got another fish. Okay, get the next fish. Are there any more fish? Yeah, that's fish. Good job. Okay, get another fish. Are there any more fish? There's a fish. All right, that's all the fish. You got them all. Good job. You wanna do all the stars next? Yeah. Okay, get all the stars. Ooh, good job. Are there any more stars? Good job. Hey, perfect job. Any more stars? Good job. Uh oh, you got a turtle. Oh no, put it back, put it back, put it back. There we go. You got another star. <laughs> Are there any more stars? Yeah. One more. Uh oh. There we go. Good job. <laughs> now all that's left is turtles. Yeah. Okay, Charlie. Can you get just the green turtles? Yeah. Here. This is green. Yeah. Get the green ones. Can you get a green turtle for me? Yeah. Okay. Get the green ones. That's not green. That's orange. <laughs> Get the green one. Is that green? Look at the color. <laughs> this is the color green. Can you get a green one? Yeah. See, look at, is this green? Or yeah. is this green? Yeah. Yeah, there we go. There's the green one. <laughs> Are there any more green ones? There's a new one. Good job, you got the green ones. Okay, now let's get the orange ones. There's an orange one. Are there any more orange ones? Yeah. Hey, can you get it? 
Good job! <laughs> now what's left? Purple! Purple! You get the purple one? Good job! Any more purple ones? Good job! Was that fun? Yeah! Good job, Charlie! Give me five! Awesome! <laughs> Look what I got for you. We're gonna play with the koala crate. And guess what we're learning about today? Reptiles. Do you know what a reptile is? A reptile is like a lizard or a snake or an alligator. Those are reptiles. Are you excited? Okay, let's see what we got inside this crate. Okay, check it out. In this box we've got, there's a whole bunch of cool stuff in every single one of these crates. But we're just gonna do one thing from this one, and we're gonna learn about snakes, and we're gonna make that. Do you wanna make that? Does that look cool? Yeah. We're gonna make this. It's got a little snake tongue that sticks out when you blow on it. Okay, so let's look at the instructions, and then let's make it. They've also got a turtle box and a color-changing chameleon. Well, let's see, which, which one do you wanna do, Ellie? Do you wanna do the stuffed snake? Do you want to do the color changing chameleon or the turtle box? We could do all of them, but which one do you want to do? The turtle box. You want to do the turtle box? Okay, so we're actually going to do the turtle box with Ellie. And it's got everything that you're going to need in the crate, plus the instructions on how to make it. All right, let's do it. So, here's what we're going to need. For the turtle box, we're going to need the box. Here's the box. And we're going to need the felt turtle. Right here, there's the turtle that fell in. We're gonna need some hexagon stickers. We've got some googly eyes. <laughs> and we've got some sticky dots. Those are the googly eyes. Now, the first step to make the turtle box is this. Peel the backing off the felt turtle. So here's the felt turtle, we have to peel this backing off. Okay, can you do that? Okay. Okay, good job. Now, the next step, it says, right here, stick the felt turtle to the bottom of the box. Press down firmly. So which one is, which side is the bottom? I think this right here is the bottom. So let's take the turtle upside down and put it on the box like that. Can you push down firmly? Push down right there. Good job, push it down really good. Use your fingers. Good job, just like that. Push, push, Perfect. Okay, now it says, no, we'll flip it back over just like that. Ooh, good job. It's almost done. Now we're gonna stick wiggly eyes on the turtle's head. So which of these eyes do you wanna use? Some googly eyes. Do you wanna use these ones right here? I think these ones are the ones for the turtle. I think those are the snake eyes. Those are the snake's eyes. And then these are the other eyes. I'm gonna look at those. The yeah, eyes. see the snake? The snake has those eyes. And the chameleon has these green eyes. Mm hmm. And the snake has these eyes. I think. And there's the. Uh huh. I, those are the chameleon's eyes, so I think these are the turtle eyes. Um, I think these are the turtle eyes. Okay, so do you want to peel those eyeball stickers and put them on the turtle's head right there? Boop, boop. I'm going to peel off this mm -hmm. thing. Should I stick them on? Is it sticky? Yeah. See. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> looks so funny. Good job. Okay, now. <laughs> Looks funny. Does that look funny? Yeah. Okay, the next step it says use the hexagon stickers to create a pattern on the box lid. So now we're gonna use these to make a pattern on the box lid. I'm gonna peel them off. Mm-hmm. There you go. That's the way. And so you can use each of the different kinds and make a pattern. I'm gonna put the green on the sides. Okay. Awesome, is it done? Good 
Good job. Okay, now you're almost done. Here's the next step. Flip the turtle over, upside down. And then you'll take one of these sticky dots and put it on the head and on each of the hands. Now go ahead and open it up. Okay, so go ahead and take the sticky piece, yep, yeah, and then stick the sticky side right here, right on the middle of the hand. Perfect. Okay, now do one on each hand and on the head. There you go. Good job. <laughs> Good job. And then one on the head. Good job. Okay. Now guess what? It's all done. You wanna put something inside of it? Yeah. Okay, go get something you can put inside of it and bring it back here. Go get a toy that you can fit inside. Oh, what'd you get? A ball. A ball? All right, do you think you're gonna be able to fit the ball inside your turtle shell? So the turtle shell will protect your things. Oh, it's not gonna fit. Get something small like a piece of jewelry, like an earring. Keep it open. Do you have any jewelry that you can put in it? Put this special thing inside. Okay. That will help keep it safe in the turtle shell. And guess what else? The turtle can actually curl up inside of its shell. You know how turtles can go inside their shell when they get scared? Sometimes turtles will pull their arms and legs inside their, their, their shell. So check it out. If you flip it upside down, then you can fold the legs down and they'll stick like this. See that? And then the, even the head can fold down just like that. And then with the stickies, see? Then you can flip it upside down and only the little bitty tail's poking out because the turtle's hiding inside of its shell. Is that cool? Yeah. <laughs> Good job making the turtle box. And later we'll make your other toys, okay? Is that fun? Yeah. Cool. Then you can flip it over. Ta da! <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Do you love it? I'm going to scare mom a bit. Okay, go show mom. <laughs> My turn! Show us what you got, Corbin. What are we going to do today? Be a doctor. What are we going to learn about? Our body. What are we going to build? Our body. Today we're going to learn about our body. So this is everything that's in the box. It has a list of everything within each crate. But we're going to do, there's a few things that we can do. Corbin, which one do you want to do? Um, we could build a stethoscope, which is how you listen to your heartbeat. Or do you want to make organs, a brain, a heart, and a stomach? Or do you want to create x-rays? Stethoscope. You want to build a stethoscope? Yeah. Cool. So it has everything that we're going to need to build a stethoscope in the crate. All we have to do is follow the instructions and then you can listen to your own heartbeat. Does that sound cool? Yeah. You ready to get started? Okay. Yeah. Okay, here's what we're going to need. The sticker sheet. Here's the sticker sheet. And, and those tubes. Those tubes. Funnel. The funnel. The funnel. We're going to need the T connector. And the earbuds. Is there a headband? Here's yeah. the earbuds. Here's the headband. Okay, and we've got the T connector right here. And the earbuds. And the L connectors also. And, and the straw pieces. Okay, so step one find the longest clear tube. Here's the longest clear tube. The longest clear tube. Push the narrow part of the funnel into one end of the tube as far as it will go. Okay. Not like that. No, like this. There you go, that's the right way. As far as it will go, okay? That's as far as I can do. That's good, perfect. Step two, poke the bottom point of the T-connector into the other end of the long tube. Here's the T-connector. Poke the bottom point into the other end. No, the bottom point, there you go. Push the connector into the tube as far as it will go. Do you need help? I put it on. Good job. Perfect. Okay, step three. Push each of the short tubes into the other sides of the T-connector. Press hard. You don't want to break the tubes. Press them as hard as I can. Here, let me help you. These are quality tubes here. Okay, perfect. Now, push the tubes into the connector as far as it will go. It should look like this. We got it. Okay, step four. Grab one of the short tubes and the headband. Line up the end of the tube with the end of the headband. Step five, make sure like that- Like this? Um, like, like this. Like that. 
Because this. this is going to go all the way around like this. Like this? Yep, just like that. Make sure the tube is inside the headband. Then wrap a sticker around the tube and the headband to hold them together. So. Make sure the tube is on the inside of the headband, like that. There we go, that's the way, just like that. Now, do you want me to hold it while you wrap a sticker around it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hold it just like this. Around each of the sides. That's right. Okay, now do it on the other one. Okay. Next. Grab the L connector and push it into one of the tubes. Press hard until the connector is all the way in the tube. So here's an L connector. We're gonna push it all the way, there we go, into the tube. Step eight, slide a straw piece over one of the L connectors. Straws. Mm -hmm. Good job. Then push an earbud into the end of the L connectors. Like this? Yep, make sure you're doing it right. Did you get it on there right? Pretty good, I think. Perfect. Okay, then push the earbud into the L connector. Step nine, repeat to attach the other earbud, then rotate the L connector so the earbuds face each other. All right, I think we're almost done. Put another one of the, these yep. on it and then put the earbud on it. That's right, okay, there we go. All right, step 10, gently place the earbuds into your ears. When they're incorrectly, the earbuds should, should block out a lot of the sound around you. With the earbuds in place, gently tap on the open end of the funnel. If that little tap makes a big sound in your ears, you're ready to hear your heart. Okay, go ahead and put those in your ears. Make a little tap. Can you hear it? Yeah. Okay, now you're ready to hear your heart. Yeah. Okay, so what you're going to do is press the end of the funnel tightly against the left side of your chest. You should hear a deep ba dum ba dum ba dum It's like da 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 That's it! Can you hear it? <laughs> is it cool? Awesome! Can I listen? I wanna hear it. I hear your heartbeat. I wanna hear mine. I don't know if that's how it's supposed to sound. Can I hear it? Okay, here you go. Do you hear it? It's like da 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 <laughs> It's not like boom chicka boom chicka boom chicka boom. But oh. <laughs> there we go. And you made a stethoscope. You should go listen to mom's heartbeat too. <laughs> Good job, dude. So in that Kiwi Crate, there's a whole bunch of other cool things to learn about the body, body systems and anatomy and all sorts of other cool things. Guys, I love these crates. They are so fun and when we do homeschool with the kids, it's perfect because the kids learn a lot. It's like fun, awesome science projects in a box. And you guys can get your first box for free. So please don't wait. I've got a link in the description below if you wanna be able to get your first month's box free. Make sure to click that link. We love you guys. Did you have so much fun? Yeah. Are you excited to do it again? Yeah. We love getting these and the kids love them and thanks you guys for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Bye.